Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create advanced filters that will allow you to filter data using multiple AND and OR criteria if necessary. To create an advanced filter, however, you must first create a criteria range within the workbook into which you will enter the criteria used to filter your table. A criteria range is a duplicate of the header row of your table that is physically separated from the rest of your table. It must contain a header row of fields that is identical to the header row of the table that you're going to filter. Below this header row, you then enter the criteria which you want to use to filter the table. When creating a criteria range, it may be useful to note that it does not have to be on the same worksheet. You could have one worksheet with the table data, and then a separate worksheet that contains your criteria range or criteria ranges. You can create multiple criteria ranges if you like, but you can only apply one range at a time to filter a table. No matter where you decide to place the criteria range within your workbook, however, you must leave room between the criteria range and your table if they are contained within the same worksheet. And this is very important for the filter to work correctly. Also, the criteria range must be at least one column by two rows in length. This leaves at least one row available for entry of filtering criteria. Also, the field names that are listed in criteria rows must be spelled exactly as they appear within the table to filter, but they are not case sensitive. As long as you have created a criteria range that consists of one top row of criteria labels and at least one row beneath it where you can enter criteria conditions, then you can use the criteria range to create an advanced filter. Before applying the filter, you must enter the necessary criteria conditions under the corresponding fields within the criteria rows in the criteria range. Once you've created a criteria range and entered at least one criteria that you want to use as a filter, you are then ready to apply the filter. To apply the filter, select a cell within the table to which you want to apply the filter and then click the Advanced button in the Sort and Filter button group on the Data tab in the ribbon. Doing this will open the Advanced Filter dialog box. At the top of the Advanced Filter dialog box in the Action section, choose the Filter the List in Place option button. The List Range text box should show a reference to the table that will be filtered. All you have to do is click into the Criteria Range text box and then click and drag over the entire criteria range, including the header row and any criteria rows that you have added, to select it. Make sure your selection encompasses both the labels and the criteria within the criteria range. Then click the OK button to filter your table based on the criteria you have specified. To remove the filter after applying it, Click into the filtered data within your table, and then click the Clear button that appears in the Sort and Filter button group on the Data tab in the ribbon. This will then display all of the records in your table again. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.